What's good YouTube, it's your boy here, Unchained Assassin. And I'd just like to give my impressions today on this game that I got early access to, which is the Kaluga Effect Overdose. And also, thank you NIS America for letting me have early access to this game. And this game will be releasing on the 15th of March, 2019. Now to the game. I've never played this game before. I could honestly tell you that I've never played this game didn't know what to expect. I found out from doing some research that this game is a remake from a 2016 version which was on the PS Vita. Now, this version of the game, you can play as two, char um, two characters you can pick from, or you can pick a male counterpart and a female counterpart. As in the original, you can only pick a male. So, when starting the game, you find out you're in this world called the Mobus. The Mobus was created by a virtual reality doll called Mew. The world is a twisted look on reality and fantasy, which is allowing high school people to think that they are living their high school years in total bliss. So when doing your speech to your class peers, you start to notice things are not what they seem. So when on the run, you are approached by another high school student called Shago Satsuki, who is part of a club called the Go Home Club. You also get enlisted with help with another virtual reality doll named Arya. Now Arya is your little guardian angel almost, you could say. She hovers, she's like in your mind, then she pops out and hovers around on your shoulder. She is the one that gives you your powers to fight Now the Go Home Club is built up of other students with the same quest as you to leave the Morbis. And with them, you go through the high school trying to figure out how to beat the Morbis and escape. But when doing so, you realize that there's another group called Ostinato Musicians who are out to stop you. Now exploring this high school, it is massive there's so many different corridors you're allowed to interact with every pretty much every student in this whole game apparently there's about 500 or students to interact with so you can make friends with um students make enemies or even become lovers with some some of the students if you want to if you want to take that path but it's endless there's so many students to speak to but the only tedious thing about that is it feels like some of the conversations are all the same and they've just kind of filled the game with dead conversations. So the combat element of the game sees your standard turn-based RPG style fighting. But the thing I really like about this fighting style is that this one particular game allows you to see your chains before you actually make the attack. So you can anticipate your enemy's attack with your own counter and obviously if you're facing multiple like say facing multiple opponents you can attack two at the same time or even three depending on how many enemies you have another cool feature to the fighting is also when you're linking the chains on the top of the screen there you have a little slider where you can use the d-pad or the, i think the analog stick and you can adjust when you make the actual timing of your hit so you can fast forward or rewind time to make sure you get that that right contact of your attack now again thank you again NS America for allowing me to have early access to this game I will be coming back with you guys with an in-depth review once I've played more into the game but my first early impressions are this seems to be a very good game with easy on the eye anime graphics the turn-based style fighting which is very simple but yet has elements such can be a bit tricky as in the timing of enemies and the timing of attacking enemies. The story seems to be very in depth as well. So I can't wait to explore more of this Mo Mobus world and find out how I'd get out of it. 
And remember guys, this game launches on the 15th of March 2019 in Europe. I can't wait for everyone to get their hands on this and experience what I've been playing. But that's it from me guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini impressions review. But as I say, I'm going to come back with more. And until the next video guys, I'll bring your boy Unchained. Peace.